Hi, this is Scott from HobbyProjectSite.com. Today I'm reviewing MakerBot's Replicator 2X 3D Desktop Printer. The Replicator 2X features dual extruders, a heated build plate, a fully enclosed powder coated steel chassis with a 9.8 by 6.3 by 5.9 inch build volume. It's capable of building layers as small as 0.1 millimeter with an 0.4 millimeter nozzle. As of the making of this video, the Replicator 2 is priced at $21.99, the Replicator 2X is $27.99, and filament will run you about $48 for a 1 kilogram spool. My Replicator arrived on the doorstep less than a week after I ordered it. When yours arrives, you'll find instructions, filament, guide tubes, capped on tape, tape applicator, USB cable, power supply, hex wrenches, lube, door handle, spool holders, SD card, and the Replicator itself. Setup went smoothly. Just cut a couple of zip ties, screw in the door handle, hang the spools, and plug in the power. After turning on the replicator, you'll be guided through leveling the build plate and installing filament by an on-screen wizard. The build plate comes installed with capped on tape. You level the build plate by turning knobs at three points under the plate. No tools required. The filament feed system is simple and works well. I like having the open spools where I can see the colors and know how much material is left. To install a spool, just pop it on, push the filament through the guide tube, and push it into the top of the extruder until the motor takes over. MakerBot has an online repository for 3D objects called Thingiverse. Some of it's jewelry and trinkets on which I wouldn't waste good filament, but the hobby section is very cool. There are gears, servo arms, propellers, airfoils, RC vehicle wheels, and other good stuff. You should definitely check it out. MakerBot doesn't supply 3D design software. Instead, their blog has a number of suggestions, including several free packages. MakerWare takes 3D models, enables you to position them and size them, and then slices them into layers that the replicator can make. MakerWare uses the MakerBot slicer by default. It has many useful configuration settings for resolution, rafting and support, layer height, infill, and even extruder temperature and speed. You can also create profiles for and use the Skyforge slicer. This advanced open source slicer has options for just about everything. I read on the MakerBot blog that they've seen their best builds with this slicer, but I've had good results with both. You can print directly from MakerWare with the replicator attached via USB cable, but I generally export to the SD card. Follow the on-screen menu, select your file, and the replicator will heat up and start the build. It's hard to believe how fast this thing whips around while printing infill and supports, and it only slows down slightly to ensure a good outer shell. At first I had a little trouble with things sticking to the capped on tape. I replaced the pre-installed tape with a sheet provided in the package, increased the build plate temperature to 115 degrees, and used rafting. Since then I've had no problems whatsoever. The quality of single extruder prints is very good. The 0.4 millimeter nozzle makes a big difference over other printers that claim similar specifications in layer height and positioning. Dual extruder prints are mostly good, Sometimes when switching extruders, filament is dropped or smeared where it doesn't belong. Overall, I really like this machine. The fully enclosed build area combined with the ability to control temperatures makes a world of difference with ABS plastic. I've completed several perfect prints with the replicator that came out warped and cracked on other printers. When ordering, you're presented with the warning, patience, know-how, and a sense of adventure required. It's true that things can get complicated with all the settings and slicers, but generally the presets out of the box give great results. I'd recommend this printer to hobbyists and casual users alike. For more information and high resolution pictures of things I've printed, go to www.hobbyprojectsite.com.